Let's take a look at my latest LEGO haul for August 2020, and I must say that this took a long time to get here. <laughs> Seeing with the post office and such, and LEGO I know has got some problems with uh, delayed processing of orders and stuff due to COVID-19, so yeah. But the post office thing is what's kind of getting me, but at least this arrived safely. Let me pull all that paperwork out of there. Okay. So it's my usual, well, almost usual. You can already tell what I have in here. Yes, I ordered more oddball colors and stuff. Uh, for those who are just tuning in or just found out my channel, I'm a big fan of buying all these oddball parts. So... First thing I have is cool yellow one by one tiles. You're going to see a lot of these in different builds because that's more like an old school color. And look at that. More spring green. Oh, yeah. And I got to have that spring green with my collection, too. <laughs> okay. Now, let's take a look in here. These are some more parts I need to make some more of my builds, basically for mocks. First thing you should notice, I have some sand yellow 16 by 16 stud base plates. I don't have any of these in this size, and when I was building the campground, this is the color I needed to do my mills plates. Well, I didn't have any, so I have to order them now. So I'm going to slowly collect enough of these as I really want to use these more for the campground. And we'll take a look and see what else I got in here, and look what I got. Cassette tapes. So those will come in handy for some future mis mystery mock. And of course I got some more, uh, what is this called, coral 1x1, 1x2s and 2x2s. Also got the cool yellow 1x2 bricks with two knobs. These are good for like hanging pictures on the wall and accessories, cupboards and stuff like that. So I did buy a lot of the tapes, flat tiles. I got some more of the Transparent light blue. I'd like to use those for water. And look at this. That's like a um, flat silver. One by one flat tile. And these look like these are painted. This is not pearl silver. So I'm, I bought these for some new type of mocks. And I thought maybe I had... Yes, I do. I even bought the gold ones too. And these are the painted ones as well. But not the pearl gold. So I'm hoping everything's here because I don't want to have to... Uh, contact Lego but you know I gotta say though the way Lego is right now I have to tip my hat off at least they haven't closed down bricks and pieces and this is from bricks and pieces by the way I do have a tutorial for bricks and pieces if you're interested in buying some really weird exotic parts I don't see anything else I have to cover on this or show you so yeah I got the VHS tapes you know what? Too bad they don't have beta tapes or the uh, one that they used for the, uh, what was that other tape machine that they had back in the early 70s? It was like a Magnavox. Took the square tapes. Uh, so, let's answer some questions. Uh, one of the questions I get is, why can I not do tutorials every week or every day? Well, it's because of work. If I had a million subscribers, I can probably pull it off, but I cannot do that. Another question I get is, do I have a Discord? Yes, I do. It's in my About section on my YouTube channel page. You just go into the About. It should be at the links at the bottom. Another question is, when am I going to start doing face videos where I show my face? I really don't have a problem with showing my face. I still got to do that video that talks about my vision impairments because it's very important because I know people are going to ask questions on that. I'm going to put that video on my other channel, and I'll link it into this one in the, uh, the Discussions tab when I film it. I just hadn't had time. But first off, my webcam is broken. Uh, the cord in the back was pretty much frayed where it goes in the back of the camera. And I tried to fix it. It was a complete fail, so I had to chuck the camera out. Trying to find a webcam today is almost impossible because, you know, there, people were buying them out and reselling them for some ridiculous amount. So I just said, no, nah. <laughs> I got my 4K camera. I'll just do it on that and just hook it up to my computer. Uh, the next thing I need to worry about is getting a haircut. And for those who don't know, in California, it depends on where you live, which is pretty much the whole state, barbershops and hairstylists are considered non-essential. 
There's other businesses that are considered essential, but I don't want to mention them on here. You probably could figure out what those are. But I look more like a caveman than anything else, and I'm just tired of this whole lockdown thing. In addition, we're having forest fires, and the nearest forest fire is 60 miles away, which is still too close because, well, I'm safe where I'm at, but we have a lot of the bad air and the smoke, and it's, it's very unhealthy to even go outside, so I can go out there with minimal exposure because of my asthma. Uh, would have thought COVID would have struck me down, but no, it's a very bad air quality that's been triggering my asthma. So that's kind of like a thing where I'm just like, I'm staying indoors. I'm not doing anything on that one. Uh, and uh, we're having these rolling blackouts where the, our electric company will shut off power for a certain amount of hours to conserve. Because uh, where I'm at, pretty much the whole state... The power grid is, what, 50, 60 years behind everything. It's really old school, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just thankful I at least have a light on right now, so that's that's always a good plus. So that's pretty much about it for the rough questions and answers. If you have any more questions, let me know. Uh, as far as getting mocks done, I'm going to try to do a mock a month. I have a lot of stuff in my backlog. This COVID-19 situation is not going to last forever, so I'm trying to get done with the bulk of the work and film as much as I can. Right now, when you're watching this, I have like five tutorials that I filmed that I'm slowly posting up on YouTube. I've been doing tons of tutorials. I mean, we're talking like 2010 style, where I'm just doing tutorials and cranking them out so you can enjoy the builds. It's new stuff. And I'm also improving some of the older builds that I've done. And I'm just going to try to get those on there. And I want to thank my new patrons on Patreon for joining. You guys and gals on there are probably seeing a little bit of a, seeing these building guides going up on there too. So pretty soon I'm going to try to get my whole entire collection of mocks and tutorials up on Patreon. So you can download those. They're like building instructions with the parts list, and everything is real easy. So I think that's enough for the questions and answers, but these are going to go for a mock. I really want to get the tapes and these bricks especially. I forgot to mention I have these as well. So be sure to stick around, and hopefully we'll use these parts in future builds.